What's going on, guys? This is Dan. Hey, I wanted to make a quick video about these bank collapses. Me, personally, I'm not worried about anything. I've made videos that discuss that before. I'm not worried about a recession and what I'm going to do in the event that something like that happens. However, what's going to happen, it's going to be just like what happened to the big banks in 08. The small banks are going to lose clients. They're going to flow up to Chase, Citibank, the large national and global banks. People are going to want to feel secure. Even though they have FDIC, and you can basically insure all of your money in FDIC. You just have to go to multiple banks. But the limit per account is a quarter million. So what's going to happen is people are going to watch the news. They're going to get scared. They're going to get fearful. And they're going to move all their money to Chase, which is exactly what happened in 2008. I'm very familiar with Chase. I worked there as a financial advisor. I saw 2008 and what happened. Also, Chase was issuing, um, at least for Michigan, the unemployment cards. You'd have a little debit card. That would be your unemployment card. Chase was issuing that. So everything flows up to these big banks. Unemployment, small bank closures, everything. Deposits. These little banks, if they're not going to get bought out, they're going to lose some of their deposit base. They just are. And if you're working there, it's going to be tough for you, to be honest. If you're at a small regional bank and you're a financial advisor or banker there, it's going to be tough to hit your sales goals. Now, it seems like we've already, just in the last couple of years, small businesses went out of business. The mom and pop shops, they're not on every street corner anymore. During the lockdowns, everything flowed up to the large conglomerates. Think Walmart, Amazon. The same thing is going to happen with the banks. They scooped some up in 08. Now they're going to scoop up the rest. It's just the way the world works, guys. Big bank take little bank. You know the story. But that's what's going to happen. These small guys are going to lose deposit bases. The small guys are going to get bought out. And the large ones are going to continue to grow. So if you're the large one, make the best use out of this. Not only sell yourself the products, but sell your branch, sell your company as a whole. Sell security and safety in these large banks. Now, my advice for anybody that wants to diversify their cash, really, if you have under a million, I wouldn't worry about it. Anybody that has close to or over a million dollars, if you have to, you're going to have to open bank accounts around the world. Just go to Switzerland, Singapore, put a few hundred thousand in each country, UAE, Dubai, and then America. Now, you have to report these all to the government every single year. But if you're really, really concerned about that and you do have a seven-figure-plus net worth, liquid net worth in cash, just diversify amongst extremely safe countries. So that's all I have in that right now, guys. Like I said, I'm not too concerned. But if you're at these large banks that are growing, use that to your advantage. Trust me, you're going to get new clients soon.